In the prior videos in this playlist, we talked about how to look at the chart of accounts uh, and to export uh, to a CSV, how to make changes using the settings and make column changes. Uh, there's one other way to get a good report that's, that's worth understanding, and that's using the, rather than the configuration tab, if we go out to financial reports, we can look specifically, now again, this is a list view, so I can click here to get to my other lists. I want to go to financial reports. I then want to look, there's, there's two different accounts we can, two chart of accounts we can look at. Here's a chart of accounts. Uh, and then there's another chart of accounts and sub accounts. So, so just to see how they look, this is the chart of accounts, which shows index type, index class, account name, and weighted index. Uh, and then you can also look at the chart of accounts and sub accounts, which what you're seeing here is uh, 204 records with accounts and sub accounts. And if we look just at the chart, that's 94 records. Uh, so, so many more sub-accounts that are worth understanding, especially if you're talking about coding to them. Uh, and so what we want to do is we want to print this, right? So how do we print this view? What we do is we go over here to this icon and we show additional actions. And here there is something called export. And so what we're going to do is to select export. And we're going to be given two options. One is a formatted report. Uh, which is uh, kind of as it appears. And then there's a details report, which is if we click on that, that lets us, gives us the option of going to Excel or to a CSV. Uh, but just to give you a sense of what these look like, uh, this is what the, uh, the formatted report looks like. Um, and it shows uh, kind of how it was done, exactly kind of what the fields are, and uh, looks uh, just like what we were looking at here, just so you see it. I mean, that's basically uh, uh, the same view. Now, if we look at the other type of report that you can generate, would be would be this one, and it looks very similar uh, to the CSV export that we did. Um, but this is going to be in the format. Again, if we look at just the column headings, uh, what you're seeing is is that it uh, it looks you know similar to the report. The one thing you'll see here, which we're trying to drag to, uh, was the fact that they appended the index type and index class at the end. Uh, now, again, go, kind of going back to our original configuration report, this one, um, the good news is you can see these are hyperlinkable. So if I float over it, I can actually link. If I'm looking, though, at this report, uh, these aren't hyperlinks which means that you still have to, if you want to go in and take a look at something, you've got to, you've got to detail it, look at it. Um, now, I guess the other thing to note is if we, um, uh, this is that report exported, uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, this is just so we, we're clear. This is the, the Force 501 view uh, exported. And what that does is to come out with these columns. And so you can still get this view uh, this export directly from that CSV. Uh, and then again, that's different from the original view because we've added new columns. I, I hope that's helpful, and uh, thanks for watching.